On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a self-sufficient team. Hi, it's Jason Everett from Business Refuel, where we give you all the tools you need to fuel up for the business week ahead. Well, a couple things about building a team that I think get people uh, stumbled and tripped up because everybody's been busy and overwhelmed. And one of the easiest things you can do is bring on more people, but more staff can be expensive or you might have to outsource and it's more communication and it's gonna slow you down if you start to build your team. Well, if you build the right team, that problem actually won't exist. So there's two things you need to be able to do in order to make sure you build a self-sufficient team. Number one is you need to be able to build a team that knows how to debrief and self-correct. If you teach them how to debrief and self-correct, then they won't be coming to you for all the answers to their problems. They'll be able to do that completely on their own. Number two is you gotta be able to give them an element of ownership and responsibility. In fact, if you can give them the gift of being able to take ownership and taking on that responsibility, uh, they will be light years ahead of anybody else you can have on your team. So how do you do that? Well, a really simple debriefing process is a couple of steps. All you have to do is say what worked, what didn't work, and then what did you learn? What worked, what didn't work, and what did you learn? And if you ask them that every time they come into your meetings or come in and bring you a problem before you answer any questions, just say, so explain to me what worked, what didn't work, and what did you learn? And what'll happen is if you do that over and over again, they'll start to take ownership, they'll start to take responsibility, and they'll make sure that they are actually a productive member or self-sufficient member of your team. So if you like this video and you're inspired to go out and start creating more team, whether it's virtual assistants or in-house people, or just take your team of five and grow it to a team of 10, do me a favor and say, grow my team in the comment section below. If you like this video and found it helpful, do me a favor, hit the share button so other people can learn the exact same thing you just did, and if you want more great videos like this, head over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash business refuel or subscribe to our channel on YouTube at youtube.com slash business refuel. Until then, have a great week.